So in this video, what I want to do is look at some common sorting algorithms. Um, and we're going to do this just pe uh, uh, with, by dragging some squares around on a piece of paper. And this is, you know, we'll, we'll get a sense of how the algorithms work before we actually look at any code. So um, the first one we'll look at is a bubble sort. And I'm picking this one because it's a very simple one to understand, algorithm to understand. And the way this works is we just go through the list comparing adjacent elements and swapping them if necessary. So um, like we look at these two elements and they are in the incorrect order relative to each other. So I swap them and I go to the next two and these are correct, so I don't do anything. These are in the incorrect order, so I swap them. These are incorrect, so I swap them. And these are incorrect, so I swap them. And you can see, it's kind of why they call it the bubble sort. You watch on that pass, the highest element just kind of bubbled its way up to the top. And then once you do that, you just start over again, comparing adjacent elements. And these are okay, and these are okay, these are incorrect move to the next two. These are incorrect, so we swap them. And these are correct. Go back to the beginning, and that's correct. Those are incorrect. And these are correct, and these are correct, and these are correct. We go back again, and those are um, incorrect. So we swap them, and that's good, 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 good. And then we can go one pass through again, and everybody, once you can make a pass through and no swaps needed to be made, then you know you have a sorted list. So this is a pretty easy one to implement in code, right? So let's go to a something next called a selection sort. And I'll just scramble these things. Okay. So the way a selection sort works is we're trying to just get one element set to the right value at a time. Um, so what we need to know how to do is find the minimum value in the list. So what I'm going to do is start here. And this is the value I want to fix. And I'm going to scan the entire list looking for the minimum value. And it's the 1. So those two get swapped. And then we move over here, right? Because we know this is sorted. And so we find the minimum value in everything from the 5 on over. And the minimum value is a 2. So we swap these two values. And then we do it again. And the minimum value is a 3. So these two swap. And we scan from here from here on over, and the minimum value is a 4, so we swap those. And then we've, we're down to the last two elements, and the minimum value happens to be in this position. So we swap them, and then we're done. So that is a selection sort. Um, another one that's reasonably easy to implement in code. And finally, let's look at one called an insertion sort. Okay. And so with this one, what we're going to look for is um, we're, we're, we're going to tr kind of have two parts of the list. We're going to have a sorted part and an unsorted part. So um, when we first start out, I'll move these over, right? We're, we're just going to start with this leftmost element. This is the sorted element, right? A, a list of one thing is always sorted. And so what I'm going to do now is take the very next value and is it lower than the 6? Yes. So I will slide it into the 6's place and move the 6 over. Um, now when I, go, when I go to the next one, you know, is it lower than the 6? Yes. But we got to keep going. Is it lower than the 2? No. So we know it must go in between the 2 and the 6. And so we put it into the 6 position and the 6 slides over. And the 5 is lower than the 6, but it's not lower than the 3. So that's where it slides in. And we take the 4, and it's lower than the 6. It's lower than the 5, but it's bigger than the 4, right? So as soon as you find something that is lar or that, as soon as you find a value that this is larger than, then that's the, then you know the insertion point. And the 1 is smaller, 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 smaller than everybody. So now we're at the end, and the whole list has to slide over, and then we have a sorted list. All right, so um, now just, you know, the three sorting methods here. We've got the, the bubble sort, the selection sort, and the insertion sort. Um, just FYI, the bubble sort, um, you know, you may notice relative to the others, this has a lot of comparisons and a lot of swapping to do. So um, in actual practice, this is not used too much in computer programming. Um, but it's a nice one to understand because I think it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of cool to watch. 
and at, le at least it's simple to understand. All right, so, um, but these, these, these will be the two we um, discuss in this course. All right, um, let me know if you have any questions.